Honey, it's Nimki Laval, your land-based learning pal, coming to you from the Kwemekong Board of Education. We're here at our Reach Ahead land-based learning site. And this is the place where we've got students engaged in a full day on the land um, activity that happens every Wednesday, no matter what. And what we're doing is we're learning teamwork, we're learning basic survival, we're learning how we can exist out here on the land in the middle of winter. Let me give you a little tour of the camp. All right, so here we are. This is our prospector tent, all season prospector tent, designed to shed the snow. We're gonna be installing a wood stove so that we have a warming space to go to. And this has been completely constructed by the students of Wakomakong. Peeled the poles, cut the poles, set the whole thing up. Come on inside. Cleaned again. It's too bad you can't, uh, we don't have smell-o-vision because what we've done is we've laid down fir boughs in order to provide insulation um, from the cold, which is a very traditional way of doing things. But the smell in here is just fantastic. And so it's also very good for us in terms of our spirit. We'll be installing a wood stove. Um, like I said, that'll be able to provide us with a, a warming space and it's going to enable us to do an overnight winter camp out here on the land. What an exciting opportunity for kids. Who else do you know that gets to camp out in minus 25? So the rest of our camp, pretty simple. We need a fire for cooking. We've got a tripod set up. We've got a grate. We've also had the students construct a lean-to that is protecting our wood supply. And of course, this is something that we have to do every day. Right? We're gathering wood, so as much wood as we burn, we try and replace it so that we always have that safety margin. We're always prepared. So to finish off our little tour, just want to give you an idea of what we hope to accomplish here. What we're hoping is that the students are gonna learn perseverance, they're gonna learn teamwork, they're gonna learn survival skills, they're gonna learn to share with each other, but most importantly, they're gonna learn about being on their own homeland. We're gonna learn about what it means to be a Anishinaabe in this place. We're gonna do that once we've accomplished uh, all of our setup by engaging in an overnight, middle of winter, um, extended stay here at our land-based learning site.